I am from Sarhat, Bangladesh. I am a student. Hindus do shirk and Allah Ta'ala does not forgive the sin of shirk. If they become Muslims, they will not be able to go to paradise. Is this comment of mine correct? Brother Muhammad Zahid al-Islam is referring to verse of the God's Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48. Allah says that Allah will not forgive the sin of associating partners with him. Any other sin, if he pleases, he will forgive. For anyone who associates partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has committed the most heinous sin. Allah repeat this message in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 116, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the sin of joining God with him. Any other sin, if he pleases, he may forgive. But anyone who has joined God with him has strayed far away. This verse of the glorious Quran is very clear cut that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive the sin of shirk. But this verse refers to those people who die while doing shirk and those people who have not ask for forgiveness or have not changed themselves from committing the sin. If they die as mushriks, then Allah will never forgive. Any other sin, for example, if a person is alcoholic and if he dies as, as an alcoholic, if Allah wishes, he may forgive the person. Or if a person has a zina and if he dies as a zani and if he has, and if he has not asked for forgiveness, based on other good deeds of his, Allah may forgive him. But if a person dies as a mushrik and before dying, if he does not ask for forgiveness, Allah will never forgive him. But if a person who does shit, if he repents before dying and if he does not die as a mushrik, then inshallah Allah will forgive him. For any sin to be forgiven, especially if it's a major sin, Asking for forgiveness is compulsory. And shirk is the biggest sin in Islam. It is the most heinous sin. And according to Imam al dhabi in his book, The Qabai, in his book, The Qabai, where he lists 70 major sins, number one sin he places is shirk. And based on the two verses of the Quran, I cited. But if a person asks for forgiveness, Allah says that however many sins the son of Adam does. If he sins the full day, if he asks forgiveness in the night, Allah forgives him. If he sins the full night, and if he asks forgiveness in the day, Allah forgives him. Let the sin be as huge as a mountain, Allah will forgive. But there are five criteria for this forgiveness to be accepted. Number one, that the person should agree what he is doing, what sin he is doing is wrong. Number two, he should stop it immediately. Number three, he should repent and ask for forgiveness. Number four, he should never do it again. And number five, if he can't undo it, he should undo it. So if a person who is a mushrik and if he asks for forgiveness and he agrees that what he is doing is wrong and then if he stops it and he asks for forgiveness and he never does it again, then inshallah Allah will forgive him. And any non-Muslim who becomes a Muslim but natural, he has to say the shahada, that he bears witness that there is no God but Allah. And he bears witness that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah. So based on this but natural, a person is a non-Muslim. If he becomes a Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all his sins of the past. The day, the moment, a non-Muslim, a mushrik, or a kafir, except Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all his past sins. In fact, there's a hadith that the bigger the sins are, Allah will convert it into good deeds, into good rewards. So if a person who is far away from the deen, if he accepts Islam, not only will all his sins be forgiven, it will be added as good deeds into his account. So but natural, 
if a non-Muslim, if a Muslim, or if a Kafir accepts Islam, but naturally he stops his shirk, and if he does not go back to his false deen, and if he remains as a Muslim, and if he dies as a Muslim, then inshallah Allah will grant him paradise, Allah will put him in Jannah.